I get a little thing that says that it started recording, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, it should pop up at the top. There we go. There We're it good. is. Perfect. Thank you, Jade. Good morning, everyone. This is the mayor managers meeting for uh, Tuesday, July 27th. Uh, the mayor, Linda Olson, is not in today, so I'll be filling in for her. In the room today is uh, city manager, Sean Lewis, city clerk, Stephanie Carlisle, uh, city attorney, Tamara Niles. Uh, do we have assistant? Uh, city manager, yes. Manager, Tim Dodd? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, good morning. Yep, I'm here. Good morning. Uh, and Jane, actually, I don't even know your title, but. Um, Deputy city just, clerk. Uh, assistant city clerk, Jay Truscott Reed. I believe I covered everyone. Is that correct? Looks like it to me. Perfect. All right. I'll let you lead, uh, City Manager Lewis. All right. August 2nd, we've got um, a study session item for the Budget Advisory Committee's annual report to the council. And looks like we've got times assigned to that. Um, moving into the regular session, we've got a public hearing for City Center Inglewood Station rezoning. And that followed by a public hearing on um, the same topic, um, but this one is for the text code, uh, code text amendments okay. of the same area. And then we have a motion to approve. Oh, and did we, oh no, we don't know times on that. Really. And then um, on the next one is a motion to approve modifications of the strategic plan. I think we've marked this as yes three times, Jane, <laughs> on con that it goes on consent. Apologies. I wonder, I wonder if there's I, a, yeah. Uh, and then we have consideration of uh, change order with Regal facility, and that's um, for our janitorial services. And then uh, consideration to add responsibilities to keep Inglewood beautiful, and actually that's a name change now. Um, and that's going to be a motion. We will have a CB 31 intergovernmental agreement Sean, between. Mm -hmm. Sean, on um, uh, on iCompass, that's listed as a um, ordinance for to change municipal code um, for the name change. Oh, great. So we will get that updated. Mm -hmm. Um. And then there are do the duties are changing too, right, Tim or Tamara? I think it's not just the name; it's lots of stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, although in the code the duties are very uh, they're not detailed at all. Um, mm. So my understanding is that the bylaws are controlled by the individual committee. So the committee did change its bylaws to focus more on sustainability. Um, and that will be mentioned through the ordinance in terms of duties, but um, it won't really go into detail. In the okay, great. Um, so we do have the IGA between um, Inglewood and the city of Denver for the bike lanes and pavement maintenance on Zunai Street. CB24 is an amendment to an IGA with mile high in the city, and that's for um, the design of space improvements um, along Little Dry Creek and CB30 IGA between City of Inglewood and CDOT. And I think that is related to the traffic signals. I'm not sure. On Hampton? I think so. Um, that's all the detail that you have right now on that one, Jane. The yeah. CDOT one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. Thank you for maintenance of yeah traffic control devices on state highways within Inglewood city limits. Okay. And moving down, we've got. Um, are we on August 9th now? All right. So we've got the leadership team reviewing and seeking further direction on the draft proposed 2020 budget. So this is um, one of I believe two sessions that we have. So. We are in crunch mode trying to get this narrowed down to um, a balanced budget. We've got the sale of Metro Fire Training Center to South Metro Fire. And um, Maria or uh, Tamara, if I could just ask a question. If we get authorization to sell, let's say we just happen to get that on the I yeah, we were trying to figure out where to book this 
this revenue, but I think if we're in August, we're surely going to close before the end of the year, aren't we? I so, would think. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So this is, uh, Othaniel, you may remember the discussions about the sale of the fire training center. So that will be on. Um, oh, well, these are all study sessions. Yeah. This, yeah. Design times. So it looks like this one, the present. Well, let's go up to the one above it. Um, we've got the budget. Presentation will probably be about an hour. What do you anticipate on discussion? <clears throat> so the presentation would be 60 minutes. And based off of last night's discussion, this may include the capital projects as well. Um, so I'm thinking either 30 or 45 minutes. Okay. That sounds good. And Jay, I think we could probably cut ours down to uh, 45 minutes, I hope. It's a long presentation. And then, um, the yeah, maybe. You, uh, what was the discussion time? One more time. I, I apologize. Say, say 45 minutes on the discussion. 45? Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. And then um, just a 10-minute PowerPoint for the fire training center. Uh, what, 10 minutes for the discussion on that? If that, I think so. Yeah. And then um, we have a consideration of a proposal from Bird um, to deploy or rent scooters, and mm -hmm. it's a about a year long trial period, kind of a pilot program. And looks like we've got fifteen minutes for that presentation. Uh, I'd say fifteen minutes, but I can see that going longer. The discussion. Mm. So, 15 minutes with PowerPoint. I'm trying to think back. I'm I'm assuming that who's giving the presentation here? Would it be staff or would it be Bird? I think uh, I assume it's someone in Public Works, Maria. But who who gave it at e, e, uh, ETAC? So, yeah, the person from Bird. So I'm just wondering if it's going to be in conjunction with Bird. Like maybe they'll be in the room as well. So oh. Mike Butler from Bird is identified as being there. Um, okay. So I think it'll be between Mike Bird and Maria D presenting. Can we put 20 minutes as discussion on that? And I just feel like there may be a lot of questions around that. For sure. Here we go. And then um, we've got modifications to the fire code for continued use of outdoor heating elements. And this is going to be Tamara. And Fire Marshal Mike Smith will be there as well. And we'll just have a PowerPoint of about 10 or 15 slides. Great. And so, Nathaniel, this is a you know the continuation of the repeal of the emergency ordinance. How long for discussion on that one? I don't think this one is as controversial. I would say about 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes on that one. So I'd say 15. Sounds good. And then um, uh, the final study session item is uh, this. Um, not sure what this is. I guess it's more discussion. It, um, it, mm -hmm. So this is the study session that got relocated from last night. Um, because we were supposed to discuss the B City USA um topic at last night's meeting. Unfortunately, we had to pull it. Um, so it was moved to August 9th. And so this is the first study session we've had on this. Correct. Okay. It seems like we've had done quite a bit. I know um, it must just be in major management. Or does this have anything to do with proclamation or is this just about being a B city? I'm trying to think the context behind this one again. I well, do go ahead, Sean. Okay. <laughs> you probably know as much as I do, but yeah, yeah. so the I, I guess. Go ahead, Tim. Sorry. Do you have something, Tim? Sorry, I can I can really quick. Um Mayor Pro Tim. So my understanding is that yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Mm. Sounds like Tim may be having some connection problems. So this is, um, yes, just to, for council to decide whether to give direction to council, excuse me, to staff on whether or not to be a B City USA. There will be, I think, a resolution or a proclamation. No, not proclamation, either a resolution or an ordinance that accompanies okay. this because it will take a comprehensive plan amendment. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so it looks like we've got times assigned on that for five minutes and five minutes. 
So moving down, Jane. Thank you. August 16th, we've got um, draft proposed budget discussion part two in the study session, off leash dog uh, study session. And then a public hearing for the PUD for 1070 West Hamden. And uh, a motion for amendments to Inglewood City Council policies regarding electronic participation proclamations. And then a motion for a contract for the US 285 mitigation study. <clears throat> and a change order approval for Martin and Wood water consultants purchase order. And award to contract to RMA, RME elite surface infrastructure for construction of the mill and overlay. This is the one that Maria was telling us we got really good pricing on somehow with no asphalt in Denver. Right. <clears throat> um, then we have a framework agreement with LNR, adoption of EDDA downtown plan, city center rezoning, and that will be a first reading. First reading of the amendment to the zoning map, first reading of an IGA with Arapahoe County accepting the grant from Arapahoe County open space for Jason Park. And then we do have an executive session. Um, oh, I think I see what y'all are having in mind. Tamara, were you thinking we would have the executive session on the 16th for um, stormwater at the, with the same executive session? Uh I, I hadn't thought about it, but we could certainly. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would actually be more efficient of use of executive session time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. So, um, oh, Daniel, we, we are planning on, um, you know, bringing some of the questions we've been discussing um, to executive session or um, related to stormwater. And I think that's it for that meeting. Can, can we go back? So I guess I have a question. I, I think uh, you may have discussed it last week. I didn't listen to last week's mayor manager's meeting, but the fact that the off-leash dogs, we have it on a council night. I thought we were looking at pushing it to the 23rd. Um, actually, it may work out, but I'm just wondering, is it just because it's an informational meeting or, or why did we keep it on the 16th? Yeah, I I'm think just, you're. I'm just worried right. there's going to be a lot of discussion around that. I know that. Uh, can you scroll back up, Jade? I think there was like 25 minutes or 20 yes. minutes of presentation and then discussion. I'm I'm worried it could be pretty I long. I think you are correct, and I believe that was an error on my end. So I apologize for that. Um, but I can get that moved over to the 23rd and update an iCompass right now. So we have it right here for the 16th. All right, yeah, we'll move that to the 23rd. Good, good catch. That's moving to the 23rd. So we're down to just one study session for that night, and we got two executive sessions potentially, so I think that may work. OK. All right, so moving down to Maybe the 23rd. Great. So on the 23rd, we have a study session. <clears throat> These are all study sessions. Discontinue the usage of emergency alert sirens. And that's just a <clears throat> discussion at this point. <clears throat> and just want to review the maintenance, costs of maintenance and repair to those with council. Then we have the 911 call diversion uh, update. Um, the mayor asked for this. It's some really great news and information that's coming out of police with the expansion of some of the all health services that will further allow for more call diversion. We have the now the off leash dogs is here. Oxford Ped Bridge, looking at the design of the Oxford Ped, Ped Bridge, just an information discussion on that. Uh, the July financial report. Do we usually do this in the, as a study session, um, Stephanie? We do. Um, so we did the monthly report last night, um, and they're normally done at the full study sessions um, at the end of the month. The very last meeting is typically when uh, that item comes forward. 
Okay, thank you. And then uh, discussion of public consumption areas uh, within the city. This was um, more of the mm -hmm. byproduct of repealing the emergency ordinance. And we will probably push that back further because we want to do some public outreach before we present um, to council so that council can get a good feel for um, the affected businesses position. So okay. I, I don't think that will be done by August 23rd. Okay. Do you have a date in mind that you'd like to push that to, Tamara? Or um, can we push it back a month? Yes, I can go ahead and put that in there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, <clears throat> and um, then last but not least, we have the um, draft proposed 2022 budget discussion. This is a follow-up if we need it. Okay. And then moving on to September, September 7th, we have a first reading on Inglewood Station plan unit development, 1070 Hamden. <clears throat> and Tri-Cities Homelessness Plan of Action. And that is for approval. And then we have a uh, dissolution of Alliance for Commerce in Inglewood as a board. And you can see a couple of topics that have come on recently. One is the tax policy and enforcement. That um, that's the one that just got put on last night, right? By, it is. It is. Yeah. Um, I saw it and captured it. Yeah. Thank is you. Is it considered for, tax tax policy, or is it kind of like the collection process? I guess I that's will, enforcement, right? Yeah, I wasn't sure. That was sort of kind of the words that I caught. So okay. I was hoping that would give you guys enough to build something on. OK, as long as we know what it means. <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm happy to change it to make it accurately reflect what the council yeah. would like to discuss. And I discussed this with Heather Driscoll when she and I met um, last week and um, her, her thought. I'm so sorry. Someone's working in my backyard. My dogs aren't liking it. Um, <laughs> so um, her in the past, she felt that city council did not support a more aggressive uh, enforcement of city code regarding sales and use taxes. Um, and so and that's what I interpreted this matter is do we want to um, follow the timelines in city code um, as written? Do we want to um, allow more flexibility, be more lax, which then of course means um, collection rates go down? Um, so that that's how I interpreted the right. study session item. Okay. Yeah, so it's ever since I've been here, I think they've been very interested in aggressive, you know, pursuit of this. So I think sometimes finance hangs on to old direction, perhaps a little too long. But um, yeah, good to know. And I, I think you're exactly right. But as you could tell last, we should just let Heather listen to last night's discussion. <laughs> Oh. Does um, that new title accurately reflect what you guys are wanting to discuss? Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. And then just a couple of other um, items that are on that list that you can see there. And then as far as the um, council request from last night, I had um, one from council member. Uh, uh oh, did I write that one down? Yes. Why aren't we funding? Oh, no, that was on the CIP discussion. Well, I started writing Councilmember Russell's request. Oh, oh, I know what it was. It was the signs at um, the yeah, rezoning yeah. signs for city center. Yeah, so we'll get that place. entered and checked on. Mm, there is a second one. I did drive by it. There's one just uh, on the north end of the RT parking lot on Inca. So there's a second one there, but there does have the w red backdrop. And right. it is to read, so. <clears throat> um, I think that's all I had as well. Anybody else get a council request that I missed? I did. None. Nope. All right. Well, I think that's it. Let me um, approach him. I did capture, um, I know that you went round table, uh, Mayor Pro Tem, about 
August dates. So I did capture that at the bottom of this list. I'm not sure if we need to retain that for when mayor's back or is there any anything additional well, with that? Yeah, I think just because people are looking to take time off in August, but they haven't set up dates. I'm, I'm not sure what we can do with the information as of yet, but uh, I am concerned about potentially not having a quorum. I, and I'm not positive that the mayor said that she was going to be out at the end of August, but if she is, that uh, yeah, it's just uh, I'm, I'm more concerned about what is it, the 16th potentially? That looks to be like a date that we may have at least a few. <clears throat> Okay. okay. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. Um, actually, so Tamara, do you mind if I ask you a question regarding the public consumption? Uh, could you remind me again? We have a stay on that as a, we had the 30 days and we had the stay. I'm just kind of curious what that means by pushing it back a month into September. Uh, so our current um, process for allowing public consumption is to simply authorize a stay on enforcement of our public consumption ordinance in certain designated areas within the city. Right. Um, but the the issue with that potentially is that there's still a state law on it that still prohibits right. public consumption. So where I to me it does not appear to be a long term solution. Um, so the what we have been drafting is a memo describing here are all the options for public consumption or outdoor consumption. Um, authorized statewide in the state of Colorado, um, including the new communal dining area statute, which allows two or more businesses to take a, a, an outdoor area and use it together. Um, mm -hmm. And it just has to be within a thousand feet of their business, and then they can use it for a communal dining area and public consumption area. Um, so, so we're we're describing that we're describing the entertainment districts. Um, and, and other options that um, would allow for an outdoor consumption area, but is still clearly authorized by state law. So um, our plan right now is to um, finish a memo on that, circulate it to um, licensees that are authorized to sell um, to go cocktails and consumption on the premises and then get their thoughts on it. Okay. Um, what which one did they like? I I really like this new pub or outdoor communal area, um, because it I, I think it meets the goals of the businesses, still encourages um, commerce um, and provides these outdoor areas. Um, so we're we're working on that, but I I definitely want to have some public outreach before we present to council on it. Okay, that sounds good. I don't have anything else. Or anything else that we need to cover? I don't think so. Yeah, perfect. All right. So I guess uh, it is now 8:55, and this uh, mayor manager's meeting is now adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Have a great week. Have a great right, day.